You could use one, I could use an extra one. But we might have to actually use a needle though. <laughs> the other option is get used to sweating your eyes, like God intended. <laughs> Come on, that's what Satan intended. It only takes like 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> Now what made you go set back? Because I wanted to reset it. Okay. You can't reach me easily from here. If you try to throw a shot quickly from where you are now, I have a ton of time to react. Yeah. Whereas if I've been here where I was roughly, this is not a good place to rest. Yeah. It's not a good reset because you can reach me easily from here. Yeah, because I was but just from here you can't. Just before you set back, I was just about to throw. So I was wondering what if yeah. you noticed that I was going to throw. It took too long to get you to do something. Oh. The longer I wait there, the more uncertainty it puts into where you're going to go. So the more I'll overthink it. So oh, if yeah. I back out, hey. reset, and do it again, it makes it better. I just was, yeah, I was just curious if I was, had a tell or... You didn't do anything. You hadn't done anything, but you're going to. Yeah. So it's just like, well, the longer this goes, the less and less I'll know when it's going to happen. So I'm just going to get out and reset. Oh, yeah. All right. So that's all. Okay. <coughs> Okay. Okay. So when you slip through, like, so what you ended up having to do is you got to here, right? Yeah, I threw that butt flake and missed. This doesn't stop me from throwing a shot. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. I, I so, knew I was pretty hosed at that point. Yeah. <laughs> the one thing you could do is push up. Oh. So I'm here sure. like this. Sure. Right. Like then that? Okay. Then we're just stuck, right? Yeah. So now I can happen. get out of this in a way easier than you can. Yeah, I think what so I, I can did. just do this. And come back to here. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, I tried to bail out, which just gave you a huge opening. Oh. Yeah, you just pulled straight away, which is like walking straight. Yeah. Whereas if you pushed up, it cuts off the ability to throw the shot. But you have to push up and then roll. Okay. So, because if you, like I said, if you stay there, I have an advantage. But if we're yeah. here, and you push up, now roll it over. Like push your top hand past my shoulder. Oh, like this? No, no, other way. Push forward. Right. See how it starts to bring it down. Take this hand, put it behind my head. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. I see what you mean. See, now I'm kind of stuck, right? Yeah. So now what I could do is I could try to do the same thing and let go and choke up and such, but that gives you a better option okay. than the other one, right? So what I could try to do back, I can try to push back with you. Yeah. But that's just still, but yeah. it doesn't give me a shot. Okay. So worst case, you call hold and we reset. Yeah. Um, best case, you might find something out of there that you could throw. I guess the absolute worst case is I find a way to kill you, but it won't be as easy. Yeah. Right? It's going to be hard. Yeah, because yeah, I told her it's wide this, open. It's yeah, just, totally wide boom. open. Yeah. yeah, but it's bringing it up, cut that all off. So. All right, cool. You almost good? Yeah. Right. Yeah, we'll go one more. Okay. It gives him time so he doesn't rush. Hung up on the bottom. <laughs> Couldn't get my hands changed. Oh my god, I'm in trouble. That's what that should look like at full speed, by the way. Yeah. So if you find someone that does that Q forward style and they don't jump your butt right away, you're just gonna stab them. Okay. Because they're giving up a ton of range. If oh, you can back up into max range and just stab. They're, they're planning on closing. Yeah. yeah. They're planning on closing, and that's a very good defense for stabbing. Like you can, it's a good defense in general, but it doesn't have a lot of offense and it gives up a shit ton of range. So like what I'm doing with it is I'm reaching out like this more. Yeah. We're trying to make up for some of that lost range. Okay. A lot of people just do this all the way, but this, you can kind of play around with it some and get the point out to try to block. But if you step offline something and come through it, it's pretty brutal. See, my only thought was is that your face was a little bit more vulnerable yeah. just because your block is so close to your face. It is, but it's also the furthest thing away generally. So okay. it's not too bad, you just have to be mobile. 
you're very, 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 very mobile when you're doing that stand. If you're not, you're gonna die. Okay. So, um, but the way to beat it generally is circle away. They wanna run right at you, so if you circle away, it's harder for them. And then long range thrusting really slows it down too. Yeah. Because <clears throat> they have to catch that block, because if they don't, you yeah. know, it's over. <laughs> so like you were saying, how you know, play around with that, with a butt spike then, does that just give one added? That's part of the reason I wanted to show it, because it's something that'll work well for what you want to do with your butt spike. Sure. Because this style already is set up to go pop. Right. Right? So you could do that. That can be a mid range or mid range thrust for you. Yeah. Um because let's say if I'm here, right? Yep. Yeah, let's do this on video so it's easier. Then you can watch it later in case we all forget. <laughs> so we start at long range, right? Yep. You go Q forward, which is the butt end. Oh, yep. Yep. So reach out from your body. No, no, like this. So your arms. Yep, there you go. Oh, okay. But keep the point down a touch and the front end in front of your face. So like this. Oh, okay, okay. So you're out like this, right? Yep. So I'm probably going to be like this. So you have to try to catch this thrust, right? Because if you don't, I'm going to stab you. Yeah. But we're right now, we're in C range, right? Yep. It's kind of a close C range for me. You're out of range because of your style. Yep. Now, if you, what's your B range? Where did you, how close do you think you have to be before you can hit? So right about there, right? Now look back. Oh, that's I'm without me stepping. Yep, yep. Or leaning. And that's not a thrust, that's a cut. A yeah. thrust with three inches long. Yep. So you have to be able to traverse about two feet before you can get to a point where you can hit. Real fast. Right. However, when you're at B range, especially if I don't move my hand, yeah. let's say you catch this block, right? I throw this, you block it, like, hold the there you go. You block it, you finish your step into B range, right? If I don't move my hands, this is a harder shot for me. Right. It starts getting slower and slower because I have to move so much further. If I choke up, that's different, right? Because now I'm making an even fight again. Yep. But if I don't, you have an advantage. And if I didn't choke up as you closed in, the advantage is yours for the next shot, at least. Because you are choked up. Right. So the trick there is find what's open, right? So it depends where you catch the block. So let's assume I'm going to throw a thrust, right? Yep. So if I thrust out here, now you need to block it one of these ways, right? Yeah. You block that. You step through. And let's say for some reason you can't get that to work, right? Yep. This misses. You can try your backhand, or you can try to bring it back around, block my weapon across, because I'm going to start to recover, right? And then bring your butt spike up into it. Right. Okay. That's one option. Um, now you can see where there's openings, right, in your defense that whole way. Yeah. So it's a matter of being fluid and fast, but it's one place you could use that butt spike sure. and not completely screw yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Make sense? Yeah. All right. He's all yours. I have a question for you. Sit down. Yeah. When you're talking with... This is... I don't like that. Olaf? Yeah. Dan. I was about to say Ian. I know it's wrong. Okay. Uh, Shiny one's Olaf. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're talking about one of the ways you tie up and you can push it back into the head. Yep. Now, when I'm looking at that, I think that's going to be very difficult for my spot. For your height? height? Um... Do you have other ideas? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can still push up to get that angle to be wrong. You're just not going to be able to push it back behind me. You're going to end mm -hmm. up doing something where you're going to probably push it up and sidestep to the right. So you're more pivoting away while you're pushing the blade away. Um, that might be one way to go about it. I'd have to check and see. The um, You're not super short, obviously, but you're shorter than the average. Mm -hmm. So, whereas I'm kind of pretty much right in the middle of the average height-wise. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bigger on the weight end. That's good. Yeah, that was a right. pretty good shot. The um, yeah, I I'd have to see it in an action kind of thing. Yeah. Well, you're not yeah. wrong, but okay. there are ways to make it work. There always is. That's nice. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, it's kind of almost <coughs> what I was thinking of when we were talking. About. Yeah. And you're right in B oh. range, and you throw it back up, and you got it up, and boom. Yep. That's sneaky. It's good. That's a place where a lot of people, even people who use butt spikes, rarely use them at B range. Right. They tend to use them only in A range. So a lot of people are going to fall for that pretty well. Um, they'll see it, they'll start to adjust, but even then it just means they have to take things away from their B-range game to so deal with it. A-range being here, right? A-range is anything close. B-range okay. is mid-range, obviously, and then C-range is long. So, <clears throat> maximum range is roughly that without a lunge, right? Okay. This is maximum C-range. Okay. Without moving my feet at all, right? That's outside of my C-range for a cut. Okay. Because thrusts have range. They always have a little more range. Now, when your front leg is not the same leg as your back hand, 
This doesn't have the range that this does. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because you can extend further yeah. when you're on the same side. Makes sense. When you're crossed up, not so much. Okay? So we call that monkey foot. So if you have monkey foot forward, then you can reach a little further. So when you're moving around with people and you know you're roughly at range or just out of range, yeah. that's when you stop with that one foot. That one, hey, you can sneak it in. Because when you're here, they might think, oh, he can't reach me anymore. But this is the same distance, but now I can. It's like a uh, first baseman in baseball. Yeah. You know. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. okay. yep. Same basic concept. So there's that. And then B range is, so there's three grips too, long, medium, and short grips. Yep. Right? Long grip is anything with this hand back and this hand somewhere in here. You'll see people goof it up sometimes to do this. This is really just a fucked up mid grip. Okay. It's bad. But if you have to panic lock, you have to panic lock. But I wouldn't do this normally. It's bad. Right, yeah. But this is anything long. You can pull it across to get some medium range cuts in there. But it's slow and it fucks up your defense. Sure. So try not to do those if you can help it. <clears throat> Ideally, what you want to do is that right now we're, again, we're kind of outside easy C range. Yeah. We're at extended C range, but this isn't easy. Sure. Half step over. Now we are, right? So this is fine. Now, if you take a step at me from here, I'm going to move this hand up, right? Yep. And when I move the counter, I'm going to bring it back to here, which is basically a range. Okay. Like, I've got a close grip, and I'm just going to move to here to finish it and come back to here. Okay. That's yep. what I'm looking for. That's what I'm doing to him a lot. Now, the B range stuff I was talking about, that's where we don't really get into that uh, clash. Yeah. We're kind of here-ish. Yep. Something around here to maybe here. Okay. But not really any closer, right? Mm 